c will be equal to c is assigned as a xor with b okay as soon as a or b changes a or b that is nothing but the sensitivity list so what is sensitivity list you'll come to know a and b are the two things or the two bits which are previously set to zero so again i have mentioned here first i have declared c is equal to zero a equal to zero b equal to zero then i am calling this statement the value of c will be equal to zero here and the next line this is the first line second line third line in the fourth line what i am doing once again i am defining a is equal to zero comma b is equal to one but in the simultaneous execution what is happening statement number one two three four all the statements are happening simultaneously calculating simultaneously so as soon as b is equal to one the value of c is updated because this is concurrently happening concurrently it is checking for a b and concurrently it is assigning the value of c which is nothing but a xor with b so a xor with b 0 xor with 1 is 1 so now if i will check the value of c it is gonna 1 so c is equal to 1 here whenever the any of the input a or b is changes the value of c will be executed the statement will be executed and the value of c is updated to the new value and now here c is 1 okay so oh, this suggests that vhdl it doesn't matter in what order the code has written that is why you can implement any logic easily in the vhdl okay so how to use these concurrent statements let's take another example so for these concurrent statements i have processes to be declared so i am writing a process okay so there is a process and which is dependent on two things clock and reset and let us say the process is dependent upon clock and reset so all the statements are executing simultaneously that is nothing but the concurrency in the vhdl so in the programming if the process particular is dependent on clock and reset it let's say if i am writing if in the program clock is equal to one then set of instructions to be executed else another set of instructions and i will write here end process simultaneously whenever clock or reset changes the entire process is changed and the values are updated automatically due to the concurrency okay that's why the concurrency has more importance here in the vhdl so you no need to re-execute the whole program starting from the worst first point to the last point or the first statement to the last statement if you are updating any of the variable the concurrent statements that will recalculate all the statements and reassign the values as per the new defined variables so that is the difference between concurrent statements in vhdl particularly with the difference of sequential statement that are mentioned in this year java programming till date you are doing that thing okay now we'll see the vhdl programming how to start with vhdl programming in the next session thank you for watching in five minutes 